I, he, he blames, he's talking about Zionism. This is something that I, I got to say for, for me, uh, it being 100% verboten is is the topic. It's it, not either. That's what's, that's total mind control right there. When you go on the internet, say like go on BitChute, you know, because oh, well, I, yeah. I go on all of them or Gab, try that one. 90% of the shit on there is anti-Zionist, anti-Jewish, anti-Semitic. They got they got all the mixture of it. Uh, Anti-Judaic, anti-Jewish religion. 90% um, of what is written there is like that. And then it always says at the end, just look at the things you're not allowed to critique to know who controls you. Okay, well, it ain't that because that's 90% of what's written here. So wake up. You're not, you're not, I'll tell you one thing you're not seeing. You're not seeing one sentence about Swiss banks, are you? Not one sentence. You're not seeing one sentence about Vatican banks either, are you? But you know, you know why? Because anti-Semitism is the oldest tool of royalty and it always works. Because the other time when you're not getting the anti-Semitism, you're getting their religion shoved down your throat, which is all about the Jews are demons. It's a, the ultimate mind control program. And every time you see anything about the Jews, just know that's what you're living through is a royal mind control program. And you know what's horrible about it is the uh, largely the authors of it seem to be well, they call themselves Jews. It's horrible. The Jewish people are in a horrible civil war and nobody's noticing, especially the Jewish people who are under the worst mind control. Like I was telling you, Jews are under quadruple mind control and black people in America are under triple. Maybe now since Kanye talked, it might go into quadruple. Quadruple, what? See, that's... But I think the same people that fired me, they were all Jewish. And I went off the Jewish reservation, as Candace Owen and Kanye talk about, and other conservative people of color. But I went off the Jewish ghetto because I actually talked about the Jews of the middle, the rights of the Jews in the Middle East who are not white. Today I was saying, um, let, let's just say like a little piece of history that Americans don't know because they don't largely know any history, especially in the Middle East or of Jews outside of America, which they think they're all comedians or bankers. I mean, nobody even knows what anti-Semitism is in America. It, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, because it's, it's know used. That it exists. It's confusing. I, I mean, I, I my eyes, like I said, it, it glazes over when this shit starts hitting the headlines again because everybody uses anti-Semitism and uh, and and Jewish one thing or another as a bludgeon to beat up their political opponents. And yeah, they do. No, it, it's it, everybody uses it. I'm like, oh, oh god, we're gonna go through well, this shit it's again. It's happening for all 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 minorities in the dominant culture. That's the only way we can make any that's the only thing we're allowed to do is to turn on our own people in public it happens with the black people too you, you got to fight you know you got to get in there and fight each other for the entertainment of the dominant culture you, you are never you're never taught to work together to solve the mutual problem of your community or you're never also allowed to work with other communities to co-community and solve a problem because none of that shit creates um, problem solving and it doesn't help with um, collecting contributions. Everything in this country is about getting contributions. When I came back to TV, I wanted to show families and communities that help each other. You know, that's what the 10th season was about. They help each other no matter who they are uh, to co-community. Well, they couldn't handle that because it wasn't helping with the fundraising because you got to hate half the people got to hate the other half. And that's how they do it because everything's a stinking rich man's trick. Everything is a rich man's trick to get, you know, the workers at each other. And you never hear this left talking about unions, do you? 
No, yeah, no. They left. They ain't left. They don't care about jobs. They care about bringing the Ukraine. Come on, people. Think we can wake up? Hello. 